Deep into the 2021 season, the Ole Miss men's golf team finds itself in the thick of furious competition as it angles for a return to the postseason. In his seventh year as head coach, Chris Malloy leads a young team of Rebels anchored by junior phenom Jackson Suber. The Rebels embark east to the Country Club of Birmingham for one final test before the start of postseason play. We got it right now. Here we go. I'm mic'd up today. Got to watch myself. Jack's our uh, energizer bunny. You know, Jack is not afraid of a conversation. He's really chatty. My signature is half the size of shells. That's money, dude. We feeding the fish. He's kind of goofy off the course, but when he's on the course, he had that switch, that mindset, that like serious mode, like game mode. Nice. Do your leg. What's up? Split squat? No, um, unloading the van and getting burnt by the pipe. It's tough. Let's take let's take guesses here. Yeah, I'm eyeballing. I think three. Three thirty. Three thirty-three. Dude, this hole is literally perfect for us. Are you kidding me? Two. What's your guess, three Shell? Thirty-one. To the tree. A lot of 330 numbers. It's in the wrong fairway. Yeah, but I killed it. <laughs> 320? God. I'm blind. The price is right. And we all lost. Pretty solid practice round. I feel like everybody got a good idea of what we're doing. I feel like this place fits us pretty well and should have a pretty solid week. Greens are greens are in awesome shape, so I think it'll be I think it'll be a good week for us. With the practice round in the books, the time for fun and games was over. I mean, Country Club Birmingham is as good of a test of golf as, as you will see. It was a championship caliber golf course, a championship caliber field and one that you want to play in, especially as you're starting to, to get ready for the postseason. Sophomore VT Mahonen started the Rebels off hot with birdies on the first two holes. And junior Jackson Super paced the team with five birdies of his own. But the leader in the Rebel clubhouse at the end of the first round, as well as tied for fourth in the field, was an unlikely source. Next on the tee, Ole Miss, Brent Shell. He's pretty even keel when, once we get out there and are actually on the golf course. That's hard sometimes for a freshman to go out there. You know, he redshirted last year. This is his first time going through college tournament golf. So a lot of times these guys get wide-eyed and, and Brett's been pretty consistent. Last year was an instrumental year for me. I, I didn't have my best stuff early on, but it was probably the biggest learning year for me in my golf career. His game is always been there and I mean he kills it, hits it forever, so he's got the potential to shoot nothing any day. Even though he's one of the young guys in the team, he's still kind of like a leader of the team, like show example, like what to do on and off the course. He's pretty competitive, he kind of changes, he, uh, he gets really locked in and he's out there for a reason and to, that's to compete. He's one of the longest hitters in college golf. That's one of his biggest strengths on the golf course. And then off the golf course, Brett's as good of a teammate as you can get. Brett is as uplifting of a guy as, as it gets. He always is positive, has nothing but good things to say about everybody. I think he was certainly one of our question marks going into that event, and he was, he was great out of the gates. Again, on a tough golf course, uh, tough conditions, fast greens. 
uh, you know, he came out, was was our low round of the day, and, and didn't miss a beat. It was nice to shoot a pretty low score on that first round. It's obviously nice to start the tournament with a good day. The greens were lightning fast. I didn't want to force anything and hammer any putts by. I kind of just let everything drip to the, towards the hole, and that was that. For players, it can be instrumental to have a guiding voice on the course. How'd you sleep? Yeah, I slept like a baby. That was my best night's sleep so far. Well, how nice is it right now? It's gonna be hot today. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, it only gets up to about 77. Perfect day. Depending on your lie down there, you don't feel great with it. You can always work it to the center of the screen, okay? So, Have fun. Every time he's around, like, try to calm, calm me down, make sure I have make the right decision, hitting a good shot. Or there's a lot of attention to detail on every shot. He's very good at kind of the mental slash course management side and kind of helps you find what mentality you need to have out there because it's different for every person. You like to dance. Wait to dance. Ooh, wait to dance. For junior Sarut Vong Chaisit, it only took two holes for Coach Malloy's advice to come in the clutch. Sit on. I hit a perfect shot off the tee, and uh, the second shot I didn't hit a good shot, and up in the bunker, short side myself. And me and uh, Coach Malloy was there, and he just told me that this is a chip, like makeable shot. And I just look at him like, uh, he, he's crazy, and somehow I make that shot, so. Putting's overrated anyways. There's something about having just another voice in your ear, giving you either, if you're in a tough spot, or even if you're 150 yards in the middle of fairway, just another voice of, you know, reassurance and confirming that you're doing the right thing or you've chosen the right shot or something that just gives you a little extra confidence to hit it, you know, hit a great shot. It's every bit that high, yeah. <clears throat> That's it coming on right there. Yeah, perfect, good shot. Coach Moy is awesome on the course in tournaments. He's, I feel like he's there almost more to comfort you and kind of like mellow you out, whether you had a bad hole prior or you have a tough stretch of holes coming up, he's just trying to keep you kind of even, level-headed, and I think that's what makes him such a good coach. Scott, you see that getting, you know is getting to 92 yards, okay? And if you can hit something that has a little, it's going high and has a little cut, uh -huh. great. Standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the top college golfers in the world, even once, requires a special blend of skill and mentality that very few possess. In Jackson Suber, Ole Miss has a golfer that can do such a thing every single tournament. He's kind of a quiet killer. I think all of our teammates would agree on that. When the tournament gets going, Suber flips the switch and it's all golf and he doesn't care how he's hitting it, he's gonna score. Good bird. <laughs> that whole three under. I'm not bogeying this whole day, I'm birding this whole. He's probably the most well-rounded player I've been around and played with. He has so many great attributes you know, on the golf course. He drives the ball well. He's a great iron player. He putts it great. He chips it great. He's just kind of an all-around solid player. Uh, a lot of creativity, especially when it comes around the greens. Uh, he's he's pretty good, similar to like a Bubba Watson envisioning some shots and and uh, adding some uh, creativity when, when it calls for it. I try to joke around and be as light as possible off the course and then on the course, I try to have some of that too. Golf's so fun, man. <laughs> Sometimes. But then, like when I'm about to hit my shot and I'm gathering my information, I kind of try to change it. My, my mind didn't focus on that one thing that I need to and get all my numbers and focus on what kind of shot I'm going to hit. He's a fighter. He works his butt off on and off the golf course. After the first two finishes this year, I got 46 in both of them, and that was two of my worst finishes. I mean, I'd probably finish worse than that maybe two or three times in college. To have that start off my junior year was really rough, but um, 
it definitely helped me out a lot because I figured out some things about myself there and my coaches and people around me helped me figure out things about myself. After those, I won the next two events and then since then I've been playing well and um, I've gotten top 15 every one and that's, I don't think it would have happened without those two finishes. Ole Miss finished a respectable sixth in the tough Birmingham field. With the entire team returning next year, the future is bright in Oxford. I feel very confident about the future of Ole Miss golf. I, I, I seriously do. This group is really close. A lot closer than a lot of other teams. Um, everybody feeds off each other. We all, it gets real competitive, which I think drives everybody to be better than they would be. We have a very strong, well, next year senior class, so Next year could be a pretty monumental year for us, and I, I believe that wholeheartedly. These guys are resilient. Uh, they're gaining valuable experience every single week, and it's not just the five guys we have on the road, it's the guys we have sitting back at, at home and, and pushing them. You know, as, as you mentioned, we don't you know, lose anyone for next year's team, and, we, and we'll bring in you know, additional players. It's the future of Ole Miss uh, golf has never been in, in uh, better hands.